run that uh, run that tap through them uh, bolts right there. Them be real good. Oh yeah. Uh, we got that there Goodson uh, tool and supply. We got that catalog today. It come in the mail up there. If you want to get one of them knee way, oh, they got it all in here. You know, they got that old school stone system if you still want it. Uh, antiquated as it is. Oh, yeah. Uh, Goodson. Uh, 2019 catalog right there. You, you're gonna want to meet if you're do if you uh, <clears throat> somebody says you know what what about uh, you suggest a book to read? Oprah does. So I would suggest in the in the in the in the shop and maybe a couple uh, cubby hold away in the coffee table in the living room uh, Goodson tool catalog with, with the, uh, the, the, the the good part of this is uh, they, they tell you stuff in here about thousands and stuff if you would just get this catalog right here and you read it it on your own you, you would you would be more smarter in this world you know like them well I don't use them so but but I know about them uh, that bronze wall, uh, bushes right, uh, well, I use this kind right here. Them thin wall, uh, 30,000, it's bronze line, liners, that's what I use in these engines right here myself. I've had good luck with them right there. You, you get you a couple of them balls right there and drive them through there, you know what I mean? It's as good as if they done it uptown. Uh, the other book, uh, to go along with this right here, the two books that, you know, you it's a wealth of information if you never buy from them. It's gold mine in this. McMaster Car Catalog. Anything you want to know about anything is in that McMaster Car Catalog. You say, well, you know, I've got the cell phone. I can look it up. It's not the same. When you open up this book right here, go ahead and write this right here on the wall, a little education you're going to get here today. You know, old school. It, it, it'll prove out to be true in your life here to come later. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, I've got some of them. See, I don't need to buy them right there. They cost a lot of money. Uh, I have some of them in, uh, you know, Leroy Sterrett made them, them levels I've got over there. Uh, I'm not sure on the brand on them, but, you know, they look really good. I'm just saying a couple of catalogs to recommend, you know, Goodson. Cause you gonna get a Harbor Freight, you you gonna get a Harbor Freight tool catalog at least three times a week. If you have ever give that business your phone number, you getting catalogs. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so there's three uh, book tips for the week: is uh, Goodson catalog, uh, McMaster Car catalog. You know, get the newest version you can, <clears throat> and uh, even. Uh, you know that big old thick book, that, that machinist manual that everybody has in their toolbox over there. You know, you should have one, but it's a good thing they give you a drawer to put it in because you won't never be able, you won't never want to get it out. You, you know what I mean? It's, it's, I'm <clears throat> just saying. Uh, and, and with, with uh, okay, let's just leave that up here for, you know, to <clears throat> take a break and come back. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this governor on this three-horse power flywheel Type M uh, International, not region, uh, come from uh, Doug Thornhill's estate sale up there. So uh, come on back here. We'll put that on there. Leave a comment. Well,
That's that 400 on that sandpaper just a couple times around there. A couple times around there, that's really good and slick there. And, and, and I took that file. And filed that little, that little indent there where that set screw had been right there, you know. It's level now. But we, let's put this together. This is the way it's, and, and, and not to be confused, <clears throat> this is a three horsepower Type M international engine. And, and this is the engine right here that goes on the uh, surface wagon. This is the circus wagon engine, a one and a half horsepower. Uh, well, with uh, runs backwards and upside down and uh, hitting and a missing. And, and this is will be a throttle governor that we got. This we got this at Doug Thornhill's <coughs> auction sale. So, and, and we're up now to where it's time to put the governor on it. So let's do it. And, and I got a coat of paint on it. It will get another coat uh, of paint, but everything has been through electrolysis. It's all clean. No, there's been no oil on it at all. You know, all, all of these has been electrolysis, uh, Rust-Oleum primer, and Dark Hunter green spray on this year. I think that might have been a brush job, but. Uh, but but this is this goes on there permanent. We're gonna lock that down, and and, and and this is the sliding part like this. So so that needs to be very uh, that needs to be it needs to slide like that. Very good. So no paint, no paint whatsoever, none. Let's get that down on the workbench here, and uh, we'll put it together. But because it goes like this, <clears throat> might be just just as easy. Um, uh, the flywheel goes in here. This goes. From this side on this one, because it's got a flat on it right there, and it has to match up with that set screw. Which right there it is down in there, and, and you can see on this one right here it's been in about well it's been in at two positions. There ain't no doubt about it. It has two set screw marks on it, and they're very close together. So that would give you the indication of a factory setting. So when you come up here and you look down in there, and see we 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 have the opportunity we we can go right there. for that hole, or up this way for the other one. Okay, I like the other one better on the distance. I'll show you why. Let's put this down in here and, and lock that where it's at. And, and you can turn it a little bit to, uh, we just like, tightened it up a little bit just now. So that's, that's the way that goes. That goes to that side there and it'll go down yonder on your spring system. And, and, and the other one uh, just goes opposite of this one. Get it down on the bench and look at it. And and, and and it only has one indent on it. So it's it's been in its original position from day one. So let's put it back exactly where that would be. And um, right there it is. Okay, I'm going to move it down a little bit to line it up with that one down there which is that quarter hole that the other one was offset to match up to this one in the past. But I'll show, I'll show you what, what, we, what we was trying to achieve just then. Is 
this mechanism, which, and, and, um, the, the spokes are, they do have two bigger ones that these fits in. And, and when you put that up there, if you look at it from the other side, it'll be opposite of this keyway or the keyway. You could, you, you, you put it either one of them. Uh, well, is, is okay. But, uh, you know, maybe a little weight distance or something off there, uh, which, uh, I don't think. I'm, I'm just going, I'm just put it here because it's easy to get to. So, and, 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 and you, you can turn the flywheel around. Might as well just do it. And, and these weights will be in the front of it right here like that. And, and they should be even up. Okay. And the way you get that even up is, and this is one of the most neglected parts of, of these engines. Very few, very few people actually it takes the time to set this and it's one of the really important parts really important is lining these weights up in in a distance right here okay what 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 you do is you hold these weights lightly to the center of that v if you can can see it uh kind of going along with me and I'm holding the inside collar there kind of tight. So, and I won't tighten this up. Look right there. And I got some distance on that cinching up right there. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with it right where it's at. So I tightened up that pretty good, but that's a delicate item right there. So you kind of want to lay back just a little bit on tightening it too tight. But because you tend to think, you know, it needs a little more, and it probably don't. And, and, then, and then you lock down that lock nut right there, and, and that sets that all tight. So I'll show you something. I loosened it back up you, right then you've seen it this this collar goes in here and this is the kind of one that don't have that brass slip ring in there the wire ring so to speak it, it just rode on this right here and this is a really good one it don't look like it's ever been used you know it could have been new old stock if I remember right but it, it lines up in that up in this thing right here is all we're doing and it, this is the one, well, you, you, well, we will remove the paint right there, and it, 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 this wires in pretty quickly, but, but it goes together like that, and, 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 and when you lock that collar down, that weight moving will move that in and out. So, but we're not done with it yet. So I'm going to hold them weights in to center it, that collar up, and then I'm going to come around here and put a little pressure right there. Now I'm going to tighten it back up, and I think it'll be in the same. Let's see if I can feel it. Yeah. Oh, very slightly, I think. When, when I started tightening that down, it kind of fell into the groove. So I'm going to, I got play on that cinch nut. I'm going to Tighten it back up, and then I'm gonna tighten this down for good. And we'll be finished here, uh, as far as that's good. Right uh, okay. That's what we did. Now. <clears throat> The the next problem or the next the next fix I guess or the blueprint or do it right is if if you look at these every, every one of them every one of them will be like that it's the way the castings were but when when you hold down on this hold up on the bottom 
where them actually centers up in there where you've got it tightened up and that's where they're going to be at forever. Then you, you, you look at that little space right here and right here. See, it's wider here than it is here. Okay, on the other side, it, it'll be the same way because there's such a big gap in there. Well, from the factory, there was a little washer in there to line that up. So we have to put them back. But we, but I, I on, on my engines, I take this opportunity to tune it up and put a wide spacer here, you know, thin one down here, and then whatever it takes on the other side. And, and that way this operates really, really smooth with, 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 with none of this, none of that. So, so and, and the way you do that is, and, and I did get these from McMeister Car, and, and, and I noticed these are Arbor shims. 38 by 5, they're 31 thousandths thick. It's a little washer. Uh, these are uh, just brass shims, the way they got them listed there. But <clears throat> I noticed some of them was, uh, well, this particular one is a 38 by 5 8 by 47 thousandths thick. So, and that's the uh, same thing in a 62 thousandths. But but you get you you get them from their little spacer washers and and they fit they're that size so you figure up how many you need in there and what what um, what amount I'll show you and you tune that up so you loosen that up okay down yonder you know just looking at it this is. Okay, I'll show you what. <clears throat> this is that thickness. And, uh, this is 62, and this is, uh, uh, 47. So you can actually see the difference. So, but but I, I think this this forty seven will be too much for that end. So so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull that that back and come all the way down. I'm gonna put a sixty two thousandths in there. Okay, I got a sixty two in there. And, and when I push down on that up yonder and, and hold it down that way with a slight pressure and and I do that, then it's it's the same amount of space on the See, actually it ain't. I should have been paying attention to that. See, it's closer on this side here and it's closer on that side there. It needs to be twisted that away. Oh, yeah, I'm not having that. Uh, to the point where that most of the time it wants to bite back into that same socket path on imprint onto the crankshaft. Most of the time it wants to do that. But, and if it does, then I'll just go all the way around the other side of her to a new place. But I should be able to pay attention to that. Okay.
Okay, <clears throat> see, it took a little bit of time. It took three times to get that trued up. Uh, and I'll show you the results of it. Uh, but let's let's carry on with these. Uh, not not to, not to uh, uh, not to get get sidetracked here because we're uh... okay. See, I need more down here. It, when it move, it moved that much. So it at least needs that, and that's all of that. That's all of that thickness I had. So I'll have to go back to these. Oh uh, yeah, that's all it is. But okay, see, it it can have two in there, and one up here at least so okay Okay, see, that's too tight. Uh, if I put that up here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> now uh, I'm going to take this back out while I'm out here where I can see it. And, and I'm going to look down in there and see where that, where that, is that okay it's exactly where it was at a, a little bit ago but see I, I think it should be I, I think the distance should be half of this from right there to there and the same amount on this side down here up to the up to where the spring goes uh, it is where I think it should be and that's where well yeah, it's it's exactly where the quarter hole off was, so that worked out uh, to to be true enough to confirm it. And I'm gonna shake that. I'm gonna loosen this back up just a shade, and I'm gonna shake the end of it down yonder, feeling how much wobble it has as I tighten this up, so it'll tighten up into the center. You know, you don't want it to tighten up on the side of that flat thing in there. And then I'm just going to, I'm going to, yeah, it's pretty good. And, and, and lock this down. Uh, and then we'll look at the, oh yeah, I'll show you something. It's, it's this amount right here. Oh yeah. You know, that's worth the time to do that right there. See, there's a there's enough play there to take up for the casting inequity, and then when you come on this side right here and look at it, it's got plenty. It's even up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do the other. I'm gonna do the bottom down there, and uh, and then we'll put some springs on. Interestingly enough is that the, the top, the other one, is actually perfectly between the spoke over there, but if you look at the spacing here, it's actually where it should be on this side, and over there it has the distance of about an eighth of an inch. Oh, yeah. Uh, the thickness of that file right there. Uh, just visually, so I, I think I think one of these. Well, let's see two thick ones side by side, and then looking at that file, it could be. I, I think it could be two.
62 thousandths is how much them is. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you. I'm just going to go all the way down there to the end and put two of these in there on the get-go. Actually, it looks like it could be a little bit more. Okay, it, you, you know, well, <clears throat> I'll, I'll show you something. You, you know, I was going to say that's probably about ten thousandths. Okay, I'll show you something. I have some more of these that are, I have a 32 and a 31 and a 20. Let's, uh, let's slide a 20 thousandths shim in there. And, and fill the side plate. Okay. See, I think a ten thousandths even is too much. It put it in a bind. So, I mean, that's the same thing as putting a feeder gauge in there. So, ten thousandths was too tight. So, I'm going to say it was five thousandths. You know what I mean? In the world, these engines right here, that's more than two. I mean, you know what I mean. So, <clears throat> So yeah, I'm gonna look down in here to, to confirm, as you can out here on the bench, where that hole is at down in there. And also the distance on this one right here from there to there and there to there, I would like this one to come out the same. So yeah, that's where it was at in the other time. So you know with just a few shims uh, or five total uh, they do cost these shims cost 40 cents each I made a note on there uh, so we used uh, two right there oh yeah it's very good Everything's tight and secure down in there. And then we use three here, five total. So so you know you 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 have to put that on the repair bill, you know. Five times forty cents, you know. So and that's all that's all a governor three horsepower does. It, it's just a simple fly ball, fly weight governor these being the balls uh and when the engine goes around they they, they fly out like that right there making that collar move, you know what i mean so simple but this is the three horsepower let's get it on the engine oh yeah the spring whoa well, wait a minute uh spring goes like this it's uh it's got a cotter in here. It'll be, be fitted right down in there with a cotter, and then it goes across and, and hooks on that part down there uh, with some adjustment. Like that. So I'd say that's, uh, we'll touch it up with some paint and uh, get on the engine. Oh yeah, I think we'll be all right there. We'll get a couple of springs on there. Hey y'all, come on back next week. You know, a couple of days even.
and we'll get that piston up in there, tighten up the big end of that rod. From here, Middle Tennessee, shop dog Sam.